Okay, so let's get it started a little bit early, a couple of minutes. Let's get the live stream going. Hopefully we'll have some good connection tonight, everybody. And fingers crossed the fishing will be on point. We have got a banging tide down here. We are hopefully out of the wind tonight. Fingers crossed we can get into some race, some bass, some conga, and uh, what else? What else? Bass, rays, conga, smooth hounds. See if we can get a smooth hound, eh? Welcome in, everybody. How you doing today? We are down Selsey. So if Big Brandon is around, Big Brandon from a, one of our last live streams, happy days. But yeah, welcome in everybody, how are we all doing? I'm joined by the South Coast Dangler and the Sweet Corn Kid tonight. And then I think there are some other YouTubers on the beach as well, a little bit further along. And we're going to give it a go and see what happens. Fingers crossed we are live. Let's get it all set up and going. really want to catch a double figure ray tonight that'd be amazing there have been quite a few rays coming out so fingers crossed robert and denzel how you doing ping ping nice to see you let's go everybody andrew and ufc welcome in nice to see you mate how are we doing everybody what are you doing what's going on there mate who knows we're getting the rod set up everybody so uh yeah sit tight we'll be fishing in the next five ten minutes rick rock how you doing welcome in brother Tie. There's a net. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dragon. Yeah, some sort of net out there potentially so we just got to be careful we may have to move spots because uh, if there's a net out there if we catch a good fish or any fish we are going to be in trouble so uh yeah we're just going to test the waters quickly um and see and i'll say hello to everybody 45 people already how are we doing everybody welcome in ah give me a second just trying to sort my tripod out but yeah we may potentially have to move over a couple of groins because there may be some idiot that's put a net across the entire side of the beach. Absolute idiot, eh? Good evening, the three danglers and everyone else. Gabman, how you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Uh, where you at? Looking to start my hound season off very soon. We are down Selvi tonight. Hatchy, how you doing? Me and Joker, welcome in. James Wren, backlass fisherman. Nice to see you, Ethan. How you doing? Rick Rock, the boys. How are we doing, everybody? Welcome in. Yeah, we're down Selzy tonight. We are down Selzy. Giving it a go. So yeah, hopefully there aren't any nets out there, otherwise yeah, we might have to move straight away, which isn't going to be fun. It's going to be stupid if there is. We could see the net across a groin, uh, about two groins over, but um, it didn't seem to be one down here. But you never know. And I don't want to be losing gear every cast, especially my lovely sea weight stuff. So yeah, let's get everything set up and get fishing. Mark Miles, how you doing? Welcome in, Nick the Fish. We are just setting up. I thought I'd get the live stream going. Why not? East or west, we're on East Beach. We're fishing a different spot where we normally do. We normally fish in front of the uh, fish and chip place, where it is. 
So uh, yeah, Michael, how you doing mate? Welcome in, I appreciate that. Let's get it going ladies and gentlemen, let's get it going. Everybody, let's get some rigs on down records we're all good how do you know everybody 47 people here 27 likes it was grim lol wash your shorts very windy can you still go fishing holiday camp fishing what do you mean brother cheers gal man i appreciate that mate ross how you doing i appreciate it welcome in all right then we are going to get some rigs on and get cast out i think i've gone and collected myself some crabs earlier on so we've got some nice live crabs in there they're going to put on as bait for bass and uh, raise stuff like that. We'll see how it goes. Could be using pulley rig tonight. Gonna get some of these nice sea weight ones out, of course. See if it looks nice and sharp. Indeed, they are. So yeah, gonna go with the old simple pulley rigs. Nothing fancy tonight. Just want to try and catch some great fish. So yeah, baits today. We've got squid. We've got octopus. We've got sand eel. We've got cuttlefish, and we have Joe mackerel. So we'll go some congas later on as well. Providing we have got some strong enough line. Uh, used to fish by windmill uh, on holiday camp. I think I fished a windmill before. I think I have. So some people see it this way, some people see it that way. Um, we're not report chasing tonight, even though there have been some rays coming out from down here. Uh, someone on a live stream last Wednesday said, uh, when are you going to uh, Selzy next? And I said, you know what, we'll try that next week. So uh, yeah, we're giving it a go. Sea Weights is in the house. Happy days. Welcome in, brother. Can't be peelers. They're not peelers. They're just normal crabs. Jackie, how you doing, mate? How you doing? 
And you got the gang on the TV. Nice. Happy days. Uh, after sending me a dress down body, get some rigs down. Well, we're, um, we're sponsored by Sea Weights, my friend. We're sponsored by Sea Weights, Gav man. I can, I can send you my, my address, but um, we are sponsored by good old Sea Weights round here, my friend. Proudly sponsored by our friend. I do appreciate the offer. But, uh, yeah. Luke, how you doing, mate? Welcome in. Good evening. There we got, we got some of the old uh, sea weights. We got a package coming on Monday as well, which is happy days. Well, being sent out on Monday at least. Which is lovely, lovely. Right then. So yeah, we're using two sea weights pulley rigs, everybody. We're gonna get a squid and sand eel bait on and probably a crab bait on first. We're going to try and get an undulate ray, but he's coming out from down here. You can get spotted, you can get small-eyed. During the summer, you can get stingrays. And uh, what else? Undulates. That's what we're going for tonight. So, yeah, let's get these uh, weights on, make some rear jig, uh, whatever they're called, baits up, and uh, get it all sent out. Where you at? We are down Selsey, my friend. Then. I'm going to bring you guys around and show you making up a bait. We're going to be uh, baiting up a little bit differently this time. Normally I whip the bait onto the hook area. But this time I think I'm going to try to do a dongle sort of uh, style on the pulley. So yeah, we're going to give that a go. I don't know about anything yet. I saw he was live, a bit of um, Sammy Hollis, welcome in mate. How you doing Mr and Mrs Diner? Welcome in everybody. How are we all doing? Very much glad you can all be here tonight. Fingers crossed we're going to have an amazing session and catch some lovely fishy fish. That is the idea. Going to give it my best go, everybody. Don't you worry. So yeah, we've got Joey mackerel. We've got cuttlefish. We've got squid. We've got octopus. We've got some black lug as well, which is pretty exciting. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of it, but there you go. All right then. Hopefully Dangler's got some sand eel for me as well. We'll probably get the microphone on later on as well, just so it gives you guys a bit of a better listening experience in terms of listening to me whether you like to do that or not who knows but there you go right then give me a second and i'll show you guys what we're going to do for the baits 91 people already that is insane thank you so much everybody 43 likes as well really do appreciate it smash that like button if you have not already the channel as you all know is growing very very well we're soon to hit 2500 subscribers which is very cool, very cool. Onwards and upwards to 3K, eh? It's been a very quick growth recently, which is really, really awesome. So I do really appreciate it, everybody. Going to be getting out with Dangler tomorrow as well in the evening. So whether Dangler's going to do a live or not, I don't know. Hello, Matt. Looks like I'm going to have a chilled night this evening. Great show, mate. And everyone in the chat, have a good one. Press the thumbs up, David L. I appreciate it. Right, now, everybody, let's get turned around and on me. Sweet as a nut. Right, so we've got our squid. Need to get some fresh bait tomorrow, but uh, this is what we got for now. I've got like three different open packs of squid, so I need to start sorting out half a pack of squid sort of thing, get that all sorted out for myself. Right, so we've got a squid cut in half, and then we are going to get sand eel tail chopped off, and then the gills cut open for a bit of extra scent. That's quite a big sand eel, so I'm going to cut a little bit more of the tail section off. DJ, how you doing, mate? Chuckle too, I appreciate it, my friend. Then we're going to use the amazing bait mate tool we've got here. We're going to spread the squid open, put it down the uh, thinner end of the bait mate tool. Get our sand eel chucked in there nicely. We've got a uh, heavy bait elastic. This is the Tronics Pro stuff, so it's basically fine to be honest. Not going to lie, this stuff is pretty pretty bad if you want to call it strong. And it's going to whip it up. Jamie, welcome in. Nice to see you. Everybody, if you haven't seen already, we have got a new moderator in the channel. We have got Jamie. Doing a bit of moderating now. We chose her on Wednesday last week, so happy days. Really do appreciate all the moderators and everything they do for me. So yeah, thank you, Jamie, and welcome to the team. Happy days. So yeah, this is the bait we're making up, squid and sand eel, and we're going to be putting that on there, sort of like a dongle sort of thing. 
and giving that a go this time. Hopefully the bait don't come flying off when we cast, but uh, should be okay. So yeah, we've got the bait there. Put up on the bait, mate. Slide it off. And there you go, we've got a sweet, nice, compact bait. Nice and tidy, lovely job. Richie D, welcome in, how you doing? Right, let's get that put on and cast out and hopefully we can catch some fish. Males there, welcome in, how you doing? Ooh, let's catch some fish, everybody, let's hope. Let's hope. Right there, friends, you know, something new every day. Right there, there we go, there's the bait. It's not the pulley rig, and we're sort of playing it like a dongle. So we've got the hook down there, so the fish comes out. That sort of thing. He said, whip a load of elastic round and then put the uh, hook through the elastic. That's what we got. Got that on the uh, pulley rig there, clip down pulley rig. For the sea weight weight. Let's get it clipped on, sent out, my friend. Yeah, we're going for a rail Sí. 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 Sí.
for a crab next. Dan's probably taking the nicest one in the bunch. Two. Well, crab. 105 people. Two. Eastern Solent, how you doing, mate? Welcome in, everybody. Fishing well at Eastbourne seems to be a spot loads of place. Just watch CJ and his new bait. Boat, nice, mate. Happy days. Hi. Hound Dog, how you doing? Mr. Bye. Sexy Beast, how you doing? Do you have a bite? What do you say? He has a bite on both rods. Oh. Apparently, uh, Sweet Corn Kids had a bite on both rods, everybody. Uh, I don't have any, I think. Fun. How many have you got? Uh, I haven't got many leads at all, I don't think. Oh, hopefully I don't need seven ounces down here. Chris, grab my do mate. Let's see if I've got any. I think I lost my seven ounce down uh, Portsmouth the other day. But, well, best not lose any weights tonight because I only have. Uh, Two six ounce grippers. Ooh. Oh well, we will uh, we'll get through it, my friends. Right, the next bait we're gonna do is crabs. So, yeah, we went and uh, harvested some crabs. So uh, yeah, let's see what happens with that. Oh, is this a peeler? I've got a peeler. Woo! I think we've got a peeler crab here, everybody. It did the peeler crab leggy sort of thing. Let's have a look at another one. Or was that just coincidence? Welcome in all. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. Oh, maybe it's not a peter crab. Maybe it was just a coincidence that this leg came out. Oh, well, as it is. Neil, we just started, my friend. Sure, Dan has some spare weight. Yeah, he definitely does, mate. Yeah, I know what you mean. Hopefully one of the two will have uh, some weights if needs be. We shall see. Right then, let's get a crab out. See, I was going to whip it through the back legs. And then, um, yeah, with them on and give it a go. We'll be uh, interchanging baits and stuff like that. I want to get a uh, Joe Mackerel out at some point to try to get a conga. So, yeah, we'll see.
Very nice. Right, friends, there we go. We have got two baits in the water. We have got squid sand eel on the left and we have got crab on the right. Going for rays, going for bass, going for congas, going for smooth hounds. Let's give it a go. Paul Lear, welcome in. How you doing, Brendan? Nice to see you, mate. How are we all doing, everybody? It could be a very, very good night tonight. That is the idea. It would be amazing to see a ray. Really would be amazing. You guys keep an eye on those baits. I am gonna make some more up. And hopefully, yeah, we'll catch some lovely fish. What's the name of the beach? We are down Selsey East Beach, my friend. It's quite a long stretch of beach, but yeah, we're down Selsey East Beach tonight. We are probably gonna need some bigger weights. We've only got six ounces out there and we haven't got any seven ounces. But yeah, hoping we will be okay with just the sixes. As I said, squid and sand eel wrap on the left hand rod and a live crab on the right hand rod. Is that dangles? That is indeed dangles. And we have got sweet corn kid uh, fishing in the groin behind us as well. There we go. How you doing, Thomas Lewis, mate? Nice to see you. You bringing sand eels over, mate? Oh, yeah, some nice looking sand eels. Italian sand eels brewed in Liverpool. Italian sand eel brewed in Liverpool. Bira Sandil. Yeah, Bira Sandelli. Nice one, brother. Yeah, down there. Cheers, man. Happy days. Mm. Our friends live. The boy. Ask him if he's got any uh, seven ounce weights I can borrow. Lovely jobs. Yeah, sweet corn kid. He's uh, had a couple of casts already and he reckons he had bites on both rods. No fish yet, but uh, I imagine we're probably going to catch some dogfish tonight. There may still be some whiting around. Our rod's quite far away, isn't it? I can't see my tips. Well, you don't have to have them over there, don't you? you can still cast them. Uh, it might get, the line might get caught in the groin. True, maybe. Sweetcorn just watched uh, his fishing Eastern Road. Nice. Nice, mate. Good on you. How many packs of sand eels do you bring? Uh, three, I think. Okay. Two. Two and a half. I'm just doing single sand eel wraps with a uh, squid. That squid's alright actually, it's thicker. Yeah? Yeah, it's quite nice. Fair play. I need to go down baits for us tomorrow probably. Really and sand deep. Sand deep, yeah. How deep? Sand deep. Uh, there you go, sand eel, lovely. How's everybody doing? Anyone been fishing recently? I'll do it, mate. Dishy. Did uh, it get stirred up by Storm Kathleen? I believe it did, apparently. Some of the locals chat to us. I don't know who it I was. Turn around, mate. Show them the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> Dan was talking to one of the locals, I assume. That, that was um, Lonely Fisherman. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Who? Fair play. Reese's mate. Okay. Fair play. I don't know many uh, names to faces, sort of thing. You fished them before, have you? Yeah. Fair play. You don't seem very hopeful in tonight, though. You walk your dog down here every day. Yeah? I mean, there's nothing to say it won't fish well, is it? What would make it a fish poorly? Happy days, everybody. 95 people, 76 likes. Do really appreciate it, everybody. Hit the subscribe button. Hey, that the sub button. We're trying to overtake South Coast Dangler over here. Always good to fish after a blow. <laughs> yeah, tell that to my missus, mate. So, Buzz oh, fishing, how you doing? No good for me, then. No good for you, yeah. Oh, here we go, people. Let me show you something. Oh. So. Put it back in, Dangler. So, hang on. Put no, it away. This is quite interesting. Listen. Put it away, Dangler. So. I was getting my gear out of the car, right? And this flew out of my car. Don't know if it's a sign for tonight or anything, but it says, oh, it's not gonna focus. It will. You will 
benefit from tonight's experience. <laughs> How weird is that, eh? That just flew out of my car. I've, I've never had a fortune cookie or anything. He's a liar, a bad liar. No, that is so weird. We shall see. Will Dan's fortune cookie give him good luck tonight? Fortune welly. Fortune welly. <laughs> fortune welly. We shall see. We've got some sand seal and squid bait done up. I said before, I've got some octopus, which I'm really intrigued by, to be fair. Seems like it could be a really good bait, baby octopus. We have been uh, yet to catch anything on it yet, but uh, yeah. If the uh, weed's not too bad, you should get wet, so I'll never have to go any heavier. William, I appreciate it, my friend. There is a couple of bits of weed out there I've seen so far. But yeah, we'll keep our fingers crossed. It seems to be a pretty big tide down here. It's from a 0.3 low tide to a 5.5 high tide. So we're going to be fishing the tide up tonight, everybody, which is pretty exciting. High tide is about 11.30, so we're going to get a good three and a half hours fishing up and maybe half an hour, an hour fishing down because me and Dan will be going out tomorrow night. We shall see. Tried to fish last night at Hot Walls, way too rough. Yeah, fair play. I was down there, that was what, last Monday or Tuesday or both, I think. And it was pretty, pretty rough down there, to be fair. Pretty disgusted that I didn't catch a bass, especially on the second live stream. I had no fish on my second live stream because I switched spots. So I remember if I wanted to be on a spot, it would have been fine. As I said as well, if I had crab or a uh, ragworm, I probably would have had a bass as well. But uh, such is life, eh? It is what it is. But yeah, we got our base out at the minute. Fingers crossed some good luck. 13 metres at Cardiff this week. 13 metre tide. I mean, I don't know what's normal for down there, but um, I don't think anywhere near here. Oh, we're getting a bite on that left-hand rod. Oh, we're getting a bite on the squid and sandhill wrap on my left-hand rod. We're getting our first bite. That is ray bites looking, not going to lie. Oh, hang about. We'll sit on our hands because we got it sort of done up as a dongle rig, but that was a sort of ray bite there on the left-hand rod. Here we go. Pull down, rattling. We're getting a bite, dangler. Get a bite already, let's go. I'm sitting on my hands, everyone. I don't want to rush into it. We got a nice Varava Saltwater Champion 3 0 on there, I believe. See a 3 0 or 2 0 with a nice squid and sand hill wrap done up. And that was a sort of ray looking bite. A pull down, a bit of a jiggle, another pull down. Fingers crossed, they eh? wouldn't that be nice? First cast ray. Would the winds be lovely? Nice, mate. Happy days, Chris. Evening, Matt. David, how you doing, mate? Good evening. Pleasure to have you in here this evening. We are getting our first bite on our first cast on the left hand rod. We're hoping it's going to be a ray. Yeah, getting some good tugs there. There you go. Go on, son. Let's have a little look. those hands ladies and gentlemen let's sit on those hands yeah big ties of the bristol channel next week oh, i need to get down there this year i'm gonna tighten up a little bit it's a little bit slack look
there's our first bait. Whether I should have sat on it a little bit more, I don't know. But it's been pretty smashed up. That was a nice, clean Swid and Sand Hill wrap right there. Been smashed up. Maybe I should have waited a little bit longer. Who knows? Could have been a doggy. Could have been a ray. We'll never know. Right then, we have got another Squid and Sand Hill wrap done up. So we'll do the same sort of thing with a dongle style. And uh, yeah, get it back out there. We'll get the lead glowed up as well because we have got a bit of darkness coming before us. Fingers crossed there, everybody. Could be a decent night for getting bites already like that. Put my um, head torch on in a minute as well. 116 people, 83 likes. Smash that like button if you haven't already, everybody. See if we can get to 100 likes already. Smallest tides are roughly 8.5 meters, biggest being 15. Incredible. Love to have been a guide, Matt, but uh, I'm pretty knacked up. What's that for down here, is it? Or uh, what do you mean? What do you mean, my friend? Right, we're just whipping the absolute hell out of one. And then we're going to put our hook through it like Dangler just showed us. And uh, get it chucked out again. We'll think about getting a, another rig done up under the uh, tripod as well. Just for maximum efficiency. Up to 91 likes. Thank you so much. All really appreciate it. What? You got fish? Get it all blowed up and actually catch a ray this cast, eh? Wouldn't that be banging? That would be absolutely amazing. Hey, dog, we're eel, eel! Yoo-hoo! La conga! Conga, he's got a conga, a trap conga. Really excited to be live tonight, really am. I'm happy to be out and fishing. Hi Alan, nice package you got, cheeky. Keep it PG, Jamie, thank you. Sure. <laughs> George, welcome in, how you doing? Alan Castaway, nice to see you. Uh, let's have a look at that again. Uh, Bristol Channel 8, love to uh, be a guide. Be pretty knacked up. Well, if you uh, ever want to show me and Dan around Bristol Channel, mate, we're more than welcome to. We'd love the... Uh, Opportunity to fish for someone that has got some experience down there. That's what we need to do. Sea weights, yeah, we knew what you mean. We knew what you meant. Right, let's get that tightened down a little bit more. Well, I'm gonna think about getting the other tripod set up with a light.
Ethan, how are you doing? Are you on East Beach? Uh, we are looking to head out. We are indeed at East Beach, Ethan. We are indeed at East Beach. We've already had our first cast on my left hand rod and we had a bite so we brought it in and there was nothing there. But yeah, we had some good bites. Sort of looked like a raid bite so I probably should have left it a little bit longer. Did give it two or three minutes but yeah, should have given it a bit longer. What's that not going on then? Whereabouts on East Beach? Uh, there's some little houses on the corner, or on the corner sort of thing. I uh, wish the weather was better here, Matt. Yeah. Marianne, how you doing? Welcome in. The weather's not too good down here, but we just managed to find a place where we are out of the wind, which is nice. We've got a groin blocking the wind for us, and then obviously uh, the Selzy Bill is blocking the wind as well, which is very nice. Yeah, anywhere along East Beach tonight, you'll be uh, pretty much shelled out the wind. Had a five pound conger on there Friday. Nice, not bad, not bad. Right, and there we go. We've got the lights set up on the rods as well, so you guys can see the rods a little bit better. Sweet as a nut. We'll get a bit of this on the go. Ah, oh, lovely. Hope everyone has had a lovely weekend. I've been at work as always. Wouldn't it be nice if I could find a job? It was nine till five sort of thing, go fishing every evening, eh? Or at least have a pick of maybe five out of seven days. Wouldn't that be banging, eh? You never know, maybe something like that will be on the cards in the future. Where are the inflatables come in? I don't think any sibs come in from down here, to be fair. It's all down uh, Dover way, isn't it, really? Right, I'm going to leave that crab bait out there for another five, ten minutes and change that out. We'll make an octopus bait and give that a go down here, see if that goes down well. Also, I'm to try out squid and uh, black lug. So, yeah, we'll do that as well at some point. Uh, it's been a good weekend. Mrs. S came back for a trip out of contact last night. One anniversary today. Nice, George. Very nice. Let's get tight down that left rod. and get the phone plugged in to charge as well. What do you reckon everybody? Do you want me to use the microphone tonight? Let me know. If you want me to use the microphone, I will plug it in in a minute. Uh, eight years married, but 28 years together. Crikey, that is a long time. Fair play to you, George. I've been with my missus for, I think it's been over six years now, I can't remember. Don't let her know that I can't remember, but there you go. Right then, is this battery pack gonna work or is it not gonna work? Hopefully we won't have any internet problems tonight. We just had one little uh, stall there. Hopefully when we catch a fish or something like that, it doesn't randomly go off. Could be very upset.
are we back? If we're having a problem, we are going to have to go up the beach. <clears throat> Been married for 47 years, time flies, crikey. Crikey, crikey. I hope we're back here, everybody. Can you hear me? Can you see? Fingers crossed. I did see there was a bit of a bad connection earlier on when we first started. But uh... Are we back at all? We're getting a bite again. Are we back, everybody? Trying to sort something out. We've moved a little bit. We are getting a bite, though. Hopefully we're back. Hopefully. Are we back? Are we back? Still stuttering? Are we back? Are we back? Are we back? Everybody. <laughs> Do apologise. Uh, lost autistic angler, mag lane. Lost connection. Fair enough. Are we back? Let me know, everybody. Are we back? Back now, going in and out. Oh, I haven't had any problems with my end for the past minute or two. So hopefully we are back. All good. We're getting a bite on that left hand rod again, I'm pretty sure. So we'll have to check that in a couple of minutes. We need to sort out the right hand rod as well. All right, it might be good down here. Well, I'm going to bring my stuff up here, everybody. Give me a second. How's the view, ladies and gentlemen? Does that look all right for you? One more for 100 likes. We have hit 102 likes. Thank you so much, all. Really do appreciate the support. Simon Bustin, how you doing, mate? Welcome in. Does that look good all ev uh, for you, all, everybody? Does it look okay? Are we still live as well? Sweet gonky, how you doing, mate? Are we still live, brother? We did have 100 viewers now, down to 57, unfortunately. Hopefully, it'll go back up. Oi, oi, oi. I have to bring all my bait up as well. Yeah, we're getting a bite on that left hand rod again. Squid and sand eel wrap. If we don't get a fish on this time, we might try just hooking it on normally instead of doing it in a dongle sort of thing. Are we still live, everybody? Are we still live? Are we live? Ooh. 
How are we doing everybody? Welcome in, welcome in, welcome back. Beer on my way, yeah. No, we ain't drinking beer around here, no, no. We wouldn't do that, would we? Seabass Hunt, how you doing mate? Welcome in, buddy. Nice to see ya. Loads of little eels out there. So, yeah, it seems that Sweet Corn Goods already had an eel, maybe two. We are getting a bite on the left-hand rod. We need to check any second. That is probably an eel as well. Uh, what else? We need to check if I've got anything else left down there. I need to make a bait up the other rod as well. Lovely job. Right then, I reckon we're going to bring that left-hand rod in again. We have got another bait. Not filming this evening, Nick, having a chill one, bud? Oh, a nice one, Stu. Uh, not yet, uh, sea bass, mate, but we have had some bites. We're getting a bite currently on that left-hand rod, so we're going to check that out uh, about now, I reckon. Has the wind died there yet? Uh, we are sheltered at the minute, so it's okay. But uh, there still is wind about. You're really nicely sheltered down here tonight, which is good. Right, I'm just going to look at making another bait up quickly. Oh, there goes all my squid. Right, I'll probably go for a whole squid bait next. At least instead of the uh, crab bait. We'll uh, keep looking into the crab stuff. We may try different baiting up tactics, that sort of thing. We shall see. Hope everyone is well. We've already had over 100 likes. Really do appreciate it. We haven't been live for an hour yet, so yeah. Really, really do appreciate it, everybody. Hoping to get out tomorrow. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Maybe even uh, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, we shall see. Bad here at the minute, wind and rain. That's not the best of fun, but you can still get out, can't you? Get the old waterproofs on. Get out, happy days. Right, best check that left-hand rod. We may have a conga or something like that sat on it. As I said, we have got some Joe mackerel, so we are going to put half Joe mackerel baits out there and give that a go tonight. Should hopefully be a good night catching some good fish, everybody. That is the plan. Right then, let's bring that rod in. Of course, using sea weights gear. Oh, get another bite there as well. Sea weights gear, sea weights lead, sea weights rigs, using pulley stuff. So yeah, happy days. Not for me, Matt. Uh, too old now, mate. Fair play. Got to have some chill time. Yeah, indeed. It is nice having a chill session when you uh, do the YouTube and fishing all the time because it does get pretty full on at times. This is definitely a part-time job between the fishing and stuff. Well, obviously, I do uh, probably about 45, 46 hours a week at work. And then if I go fishing twice in a week, that's probably another, what, 16 hours, 14, 15, 16 hours of fishing plus two hours of editing stuff like that so uh yeah it is a part-time job the old youtube stuff and it is nice to have a chill session sometimes did you forget your weights uh i lost a load on monday and tuesday i lost like four weights in total so that's one of the reasons i haven't got many but i have got some at home that aren't clip down ones but uh, if you've got the uh, imp on your rigs it's fine but i've been out left hand rod in get some stuff changed everybody see if we've got a Pretty smashed up bait 
Yeah, that's like said, we were doing it the dongle sort of style, but uh, I think we're just going to whip it on normally now. That's two fish we have potentially dropped because we're doing it like that. So, yeah, we're going to go with a whole squid bait next, and then we're going to get some uh, sand eels from Dangor in a minute and do that. I reckon Dangler will probably be live tomorrow night, I'd imagine. He may do a video, I'm not sure, but he is doing a video tonight. So fingers crossed he gets some good footage for a video. If he catches a fishy, he might bring it over. He may not. We shall see. But yeah, we all know that Dangler's good at catching rays. And to be fair, Stu's had quite a few recently as well. I've not done too badly, but I haven't had any big ones. But yeah, definitely need to get some sand eel for the rays. We may at some point chuck a flapper out as well. I was thinking about putting a flapper out with uh, two crabs. Yeah, I've got some smaller ones. We've got some medium crabs. Got some uh, small ones as well. So we'll uh, play it by ear and uh, nose and mouth. Ear, nose and foot and mouth disease. Yo, right, baby, how you doing? There you go. There's our next bait, whole squid. Let's get that chucked out, everybody. Where are you fishing tonight? Clint Reed, we are down uh, Selsey, Selsey East Beach. We've had two casts with squid and sand eel and two bites, no fish yet. We were using it as a dongle rig sort of thing and now we're gonna put it on normally on the hooks, yeah. Hopefully you'll catch fish this cast. Let's see if I can get an octopus bait done up for the right hand rod and get that brought in. As you fair, we've got squid and sand deal wrapped there. We'll sort that one out now. How you doing, Zoe? Do you need anything? I saw you sent me a message, but uh, yeah, obviously it was live, so I couldn't respond to it. Go bring that crab in and have a look, see if anything's been uh, nibbled on that. What can I do you for? Yeah. Ah, uh, the boys. 
<laughs> yeah, Stu's had three little strap congas so far. We've just put a uh, whole squid out there, so we'll probably catch one soon. Dan's had a dogfish. Uh, that crab bait has been taken, interestingly, so um, I'm going to try another crab out. We'll give it a go, we'll keep going with the crabs. And uh, yeah, is this a peeler or is this placebo again, where its leg comes out properly? Okay, I think this is a normal crab again. I have to pop uh, to Mr. and Mrs. Diner as they're giving me some frozen chips. Frozen chips? Gee. Hope everybody's real well. Dano, how you doing, mate? How did your live go? Wish this wind would die down so I can get out on my new Hydrus. Drive me mad. Yeah, mate. The uh, gold Hydrus, eh? Lovely boat. Lovely boat. Hopefully I'll do some good things on that boat this year. I want to go around the back of the Isle of Wight if... Uh, Dangler's up for it. If not, might have to go with someone else. We'll see. Might send you a message, uh, Michael, mate. Might send you a message, see if you're down. <laughs> Better off going with two boats rather than one if you are going out that far. Exactly what I want to do. Yeah, well, I'll have to send you a message if uh, the time's right. Alan Way, mate. Where's that? Is that off the other white, is it? From Paul Paul Fishing, how you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Good evening. Needles and yeso, death right for that. Nice one, mate. Yeah, we'll have to uh, have a look. I'm going to have to probably get some more uh, anchor rope. Need to get onto that. There's a guy on eBay, I think, that sells like anchor setups, sort of stuff like that. Allen Bay, okay. Yeah, I think there's a guy on eBay that sells uh, rope and anchor setups. I might be able to buy a load of rope off him. Big bass territory. Nice. Well, there we go. We've got a crab bait done up there. I don't think we've got any peeler crabs or any softbacks in this batch of crabs that I got earlier on, but uh, we're giving it our best go and uh, hardbacks should work realistically. So yeah, gonna get the stuff glowed up as always, get it chucks out, sweet as a nut. Bob's your uncle, lovely job. Get a bite on the whole squid. Getting bites on that whole squid already. Dark Smith, how are you doing, Tony? Nice to see you. Just got Garmin Vivid 7. I saw your um, video, I saw it on Facebook at least. I haven't seen it on uh, YouTube yet, but I'll give it a watch. Oh, that's a good bite. Hang about.
Yes. I said today there's got to be a ray or a conga. I'm thinking conga. We've caught an absolute chunk of an undulate ray. Yes. Target acquired, everybody. Let's go. Already. Already. Let's go. Yes. Right, then let's get T-barred off. I'm not sure if Dan's got a scale. My one's broken. I need to get a new one. But uh, it doesn't look too big, but boy, is it heavy. So it may push six, seven pound. We shall see, everybody. Dangler. Have you got a scale? May I borrow it, please? Oh, yes. Oh, baby, everybody on the sea weight gear look at that we've got an absolute beauty of an undulate ray a male undulate ray with some lovely lovely tadges down here we'll get a weight and we'll get it back i'm absolutely gaffed we'll get some pictures as well whole squid baby Woo! let's go let's go have we got a bag or anything uh yeah well we'll weigh this one off get it in his mouth hopefully They've got strong mouths, everybody, so the fish should be okay. But we've got a 7.7 .7 pound undulate ray there. What an absolute beast. As you can see it, they've got really, really strong mouths, these rays. So, um, yeah, that won't hurt it. 7 pound 7, that's a crab. Oi, 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 happy days. Um, yeah, we're going to go to Dan's camp quickly, everybody, and take a photo. We'll get some nice photos. Happy days, everybody. Sitting on not too good, eight pound four, seven point seven, huh? Yeah. Well, right, I'll see you at the Dangler's camp and get some good pictures, everybody. Lagging slightly, do apologise, everybody. We'll bring it back over. We're just going to get some pictures over Dan's camp. Happy days. I'm over the moon, please. I'm over the moon, everybody. Give me one more show. Let's sort out my uh, light as well. I've been needing a good session for a while. Right, there you go. Look at that. What an absolute piece of an undulate ray. Right, I'm going to get the pictures down, down, everybody, and I'll be back when we get it released on camera. Don't you worry.
Let's get it back, everybody. Let's get it back. Happy days. 7.7 .7 pounds. Undulate ray. Whole squid. Everybody. Sweden up. Right, let's get it back. Look at that. What an absolute beast. Happy days. What a pleasure to catch an absolutely beautiful fish. What a pleasure. Oh! <laughs> what a majestic, beautiful creature, everybody. How very lucky I am to catch that tonight. We got a big wave coming in. We might have to help him out a little bit. Come on in, buddy. Off he goes. Lovely job. Yes. Hey, what do you know? Fish you about UK, baby. Ooh. We did it. We did it. We got the fishy. We got it back. All's well. Let's go. I'm going home, everybody. I'm done. That's me. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Tempted, but no. Let's go. You did well, Jamie. What a bite that was. What a bite. What a bite. Phenomenal. What a beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful fish. Guys and girls, thank you so much. Kojak, thank you so much, everybody. Three days, well deserved that. After fishing in that terrible stormy weather, to come down here and catch that fish, I'm truly over the moon. Everybody, thank you so much. Brian Angler, welcome here, mate. That's a nice fish, Dano, I appreciate it. Quick phone, mum, that's the one. Need to invest in a sling. I normally do have one, to be fair. I've got an Ikea bag. Not far out, well done. Happy days. Signal's not too good. That is a shame. Mauser, thank you very much. John B, how you doing? Shaky Angler, nice to see you. Shocks. Smith, happy days. Everybody, I'm over the moon. Another bait out and try to catch another one. Nice ray where you're fishing. We are fishing down Selzy East Beach, my friend. Happy days, everybody, happy days. Let's go, Dangler. Um. There's the other thing as well. Happy days. Uh, there is another bag somewhere. Yeah, probably right, mate. You're getting your fish, mate. I'm happy. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate. But I could do. I could go right home now. I'm cool. I want it. Oh, squid, my brother. Yeah, mate. I'm here for it. That's what Dan just said. I'm just about going home. Dan said we could catch a double figure. We could catch 10 rays. We're going to get another whole squid bait out. Let's do it, everybody. Happy days. A beautiful seven pound, seven ounce undulate ray already. First fish. Hey, Kojak, a five pound super chat. Thank you so much. Absolute legend. Kayak, how you doing, mate? 20 quid for the fishes. Safety, Matt. Come on, fella. What do you mean the fish safety, my friend? Oh, I get Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sling. Yeah, yeah. I will, I've got an Ikea bag, as I said, that I um, should be bringing with me. I um, will sort that out for the next session. Don't you worry, everybody. I do apologise. They have got strong mouths, so he will be more than fine. But yeah, it doesn't look good on camera. I'm not going to lie. Kojak, thank you so much for the super chat. Everybody, if you are just joining, we have just caught a seven pound, seven ounce undulate ray. I am over the moon. We are going to get another whole squid bait out and try for another one. This could be a session where we catch a couple of rays. Of course, we caught that on the pulley panel rig. Well, no, just pulley rig. Pulley rig from Sea Weights with the Sea Weights weight as well. It's all glowed up. So yeah, happy days. Really, really happy with that. Pump in lug, yeah. Right, let's get another whole squid bait on the go, everybody. Let's get it going. We've got a crab bait on the other rod, so uh, yeah, we'll have a look at that in a minute. We may try switching to uh, just squid sort of baits, if that's what they're coming in on. I'm totally over the moon, that is awesome. What a beautiful fish, not quite my PB. I think my PB is eight pound and seven ounces, so an extra pound on that one. But that was a beautiful fish nonetheless. Kojak, thank you so much for your super chat. As always, I really do appreciate your support. You're a absolute superstar. Ground's low good for pumping round here. We'll get back on the fork. 
Sue. Yeah, we will invest in a sling or at least bring that IKEA bag, everybody. I do apologize, that's not the best look on the live stream. Should have done it behind or something like that, but uh, yeah. The fish went back perfectly fine. There was no blood involved, anything like that. A perfect lip hook as well. So yeah, happy days. Gonna get whole squid out again. Over the moon. I'm sweating, I'm so happy. That is a beautiful fish to catch. That's what we're down here for. That was the main target. The number one main target was a ray and we've done it already. Happy days. Over the moon. Surprised Sweet Corn Kid didn't come over to be fair. He's uh, chilling tonight, so um, he may be on the live stream if you are here. Hello, Stu. Get in, Manny. Happy days, isn't it? It is happy days, Craig. We're going to get another whole squid bait out there and try catch some more tonight. Paul Hill, I appreciate it, Paul. I'm over the moon. My cheeks are gone really rosy. I can feel it. I can feel that my face is really red at the minute. Got some beautiful pictures over in Dangler's camp, so... Uh, yeah, guess I'll post that up on the Sea Weights group for my uh, catch report of the month. Happy days. What a beautiful fish. Peter Phillips, how you doing, mate? We've had an undulate ray, seven pounds, seven ounces, about 10 minutes ago. So do scroll back and have a look. Just about to get the same bait out, whole squid. Same thing, looks like that. Let's get it chucked out and hopefully get another one. I'm gonna get it all glowed up as always. Happy days, happy days. Do scroll back to the bike because it was an absolutely beautiful bike. Just went straight down. God. Absolutely buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. Whole squid going out again, everybody. Let's do it. I'll tell you all the funny bit about catching that beautiful ray. Obviously, when, actually, to be fair, you guys might have seen it. Um, when you catch a fish like that and you're fishing with your friends, I always tend to go down to the bottom of the beach whenever my friend says they've got a good fish on to go uh, jump into the water just so they don't lose it right at the bottom of the water. And uh, thankfully, Dangler came down and did that for me. Bless his cotton socks. Um, a big tide came up and got him soaked. So, uh, yeah, we'll probably see that in his video. But yeah, bless Dangler's cotton socks. So he uh, went down there, picked up the ray for us. Absolute legend. He almost lost it, to be fair. He, uh, the big wave washed it around him, so it could have got tangled and uh, tripped him up sort of thing. But uh, yeah, all good. Well, we're gonna tighten that down. And uh, yeah, sit tight. We're 
gonna check the right hand rod in a minute because we've got a crab on there, live crab. And we're gonna put a squid and sand eel wrap on that one instead. Yeah, happy days everybody. I hope everyone is well. Steve, where are you at? Matt, uh, where you are, cast two miles out and you hit the turbot shaky. I appreciate that, Jamie. I'll try, I'll try. Let's hope for big bass, mate. Fingers crossed for you, sea bass hunter, Michael. I appreciate it. Buzzing for you, mate. Craig, we've hit the spot. We hit the spot, eh? Hi, Kayak, I'm sub to your channel, but rarely chat. There you go, happy days, eh? Good old Kayak Dangler. Do check out Kayak Dangler's channel, everybody. He uh, gets out an awful lot and puts in an awful lot of effort and he catches some beautiful congas and obviously some other fish as well. But he is, uh, I'd say, if you ask me to uh, describe Kayak Dangler's channel, I'd say the conga man. He caught an absolute beast in his uh, local area a couple of months back. So yeah, do go check out Paul's channel. Uh, look to your left, can you see a light? Uh, Ethan, I can't say that I can. I'm uh, down at the bottom of a groin at the minute, but if you are around here, you're more than welcome to come and say hello, mate. Can't overly be messing around, to be honest. <clears throat> I want to be uh, watching the rods, just in case we get an absolutely beautiful bite like we did before. I'll uh, quickly step up and see if I can see you if you're along the path. I shot my light down the path and I didn't see anyone, to be honest. Right, I was going to make sure I've got all my stuff in my box, like my uh, microphone and stuff, so I haven't got that on. There's one, and there's two, cool. Oh, what a day, what a day. Me and Dangler have been at work today. Until about six o'clock, I went and got some crabs, as you can see from down here. Went and got those after I left work. So we got some cheeky ones in there. I don't think there's any softies or peelers. I'll quickly check for peelers. But um, yeah, the idea is to try to get into a smooth hound with these ones. Probably won't happen, but uh, there are some coming out here and there. More sort of Brighton way. So uh, yeah, I guess they're just around the corner. But yeah, crab bait can definitely be good for uh, bass and also rays as well. So it's an interesting one to use. We are going to get squid and sand eel bait out next instead of the crab. So yeah, we'll see. But yeah, I'm over the moon, genuinely over the moon. That is what we came down here for. That was my number one fish that I wanted to catch tonight was, out of all the species of ray, was an undulate ray. Absolutely gas. Let's hope we can get into some more tonight, everybody. Pleasure that you're all here to watch that as well. If you were watching it live, fingers crossed the quality was all right. Some people say it was a little bit dodgy, but um, yeah, hopefully it was okay. Fingers crossed. What a beautiful fish though. I'll say hi in the next one. True. Tony, happy days. Please like and subscribe, really helps the channel. Kojak is very much right. We're on the way to 2,500 subscribers. I think we're probably about 47 away, I can't remember. Maybe less than that, maybe more. But uh, yeah, exciting times. We're set to really pass 3K, maybe get onto 4 and 5K this year, to be honest, if things still go as they are at the minute. But yeah, it's gotta be continuously catching some decent fish throughout the year, and hopefully the channel growth will come naturally. High tide tonight is 11.30. Nice rain, Matt, just caught up. Epic low, happy days, mate, I appreciate it. Yeah, that is a beautiful specimen. Lovely male, undulate ray. You can tell it is a male because it's got the old uh, claspers, the gonads, if you would. The old danglers. So yeah, that's happy days, that really is amazing. And we're hoping to catch some more tonight. Yeah, if you're around, Ethan, you're more than welcome to come down. There's uh, three of us fishing between two groins. So you can come meet Sweet Corn Kid and Dangler. As well. 
<laughs> Yay, Captain Jim. Hi, Matt and everyone in chat just woke up. Captain Jim, scroll back about 15 minutes or so. We caught an undulate ray. Thank you so much, Captain Jim. Kojak as well, we'll drop a big old shoe for both of you. Albert, how you doing? Hi, Matt, my dad Aaron loves the lives. So you're shoo, Albert, the boy. Thank you so much, Albert. I really appreciate it. Captain Jim as well, Kojak. Guys, thank you so much. Really do appreciate it, everybody. We'll do a big old shoo. Here we go. Bye, the boys. Days, everybody. And look at that, we've just found a spoon down the beach. That's our lucky spoon, that is. I'm going to keep that in the box. Guys and girls, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much for the support. Ooh, Albert, what a legend, mate. Captain Jim as well. Big Aaron, how you doing, Daddy Aaron? Happy days. Thank you so much for the super chats, really does help with the growth of the channel. We put it towards bait and equipment. Recently, we bought a Penn Tidal XT reel, which is the fish, the, uh, sorry, the reel that we used to, use to reel in that lovely fish. So who knows, maybe the distance of that reel caught us that fishy fish. But yeah, it goes towards equipment and towards bait. I'm planning on uh, potentially going down to get some bait tomorrow because we are going through squid like nobody's business. I always go down there every two or three months. Get a bite of the left hand rod again, here we go. Every two or three months I go down there and I pick up like six packs of squid, six packs of joeys and uh, some other bait, stuff like that. But I just get through the squid so quickly as it is just a, a top draw bait all round. But yeah, happy days, there we go everybody. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, that bait's been frozen once as well. It's been defrosted once and frozen again. So fresh bait doesn't mean everything all the time. Happy days, eh? Yeah, it looked like we had a bite on that left-hand rod. We need to change the bait on the right-hand rod as it was a crab and it's most likely been taken. Uh, where's your local tackle shop, Matt? Uh, my most local is Rover's Tackle in Fairham. Uh, the one that I visit the most at the moment, probably Fish On in Cosham area. But... Um, yeah, I don't really have a set tackle shop that I go to, but for bait, I go to Baits R Us in Portsmouth because he uh, supplies all of the tackle shops in the local area, basically. And, uh, yeah, supplies the entire country with bait. Big Andy. But yeah, my closest one would be Rovers. But I don't go in very often anymore. I get all my uh, weights and stuff from Craig. I uh, still purchase quite a lot of the stuff. We do obviously get some freebies to test out here and there. And then uh, Kojak, stuff like that. He uh, always buying rigs for people. Really, really do appreciate Kojak. He supports so many channels. Absolute legend. And then, yeah, as I said, Bates. Bates are us. I should probably message them and see if I can get a referral code, that sort of thing, or maybe a discount for you guys. But, uh, yeah. I miss Hansford and the Fairham. Hansford, is that the one that was on the corner? I remember going into one tackle shop that was uh, on the corner or round the corner. That's about 10 years ago. But, um, yeah. Tackle shop near me, just shut down, such a shame. Dangler said to me about, well, do you want to open a tackle shop, mate? I said to him, the amount that are shutting down at the minute. No, nah, no chance. You'd have to pay rent, it's probably about two grand or a grand and a half. A month. What? What have you got? Has Dan got a ray? Give me a second, everybody. Dan may have a ray as well. He said two.
himself an undulate ray on the squid as well. He's got a female this time. Dan has got an undulate ray as well. It may be bigger than mine as well. Happy days, everybody. Kojak and Seaways are amazing people. They're really have been helping out with a lot of channels. Had a smooth out on Saturday, Matt. I saw the video, Sharksmith. Well done to you, Tony. Kojak is a star. Matt, true gentleman, he really is. Nice, Matt. Nice, Ray. Well done, the Rays are in. Yeah, Jim, everybody. Dangler is about to bring one over, as you can see over there, probably. Let's see if we can zoom in. Dan has got a Ray. He's holding it up there, so happy days. Lovely job. Holding it up to the camera. What a legend. I'm sure he'll bring it over and uh, tell us how much it weighs. I'm going to say probably, it may be, I'd probably say eight pound one, something like that. We'll go for a number like that. But uh, I obviously had the, uh, the gonads on mine to add a little bit more weight. Dan's is a female, but his is quite chunky. So we need to change some baits and get a squid and sand it out on that right-hand rod ASAP Rocky. So yeah, let's have a look. We've got a wrap made up, let's do it now. Protective ray mat, what's that, the undulates? I think they're all protected, aren't they? Or are they at least all uh, somewhat endangered, but then people take thorn backs or something like that, I don't know. We were thinking about that the other day, or saying about it. But, um, happy days. Crab's gone again, we'll go put the screen in the panel on. I'm surprised he didn't say anything to be fair, we just kept quiet and reeled it in. Right then, bait elastic, where are we going? Where are we going? There it is. So we're gonna get squid and sandy wrap on everybody. Albert, another one, can I get another C from my dad, Aaron Albert? Of course you can, my friend. Here you go, mate, we'll turn it around. Ooh. <laughs> the boy Aaron, thank you so much. And Albert, absolute legend. Guys, I really do appreciate the support. It's great to hear that you enjoy the live streams. I have had a seven pound, seven ounce undulate ray. Nice male ray. And Dangler has just caught an undulate ray of himself, for himself. He's caught a female one. So uh, yeah, he'll bring it over in a minute. We'll see what weight he says. It could be bigger than mine though. Could be bigger than mine. Absolutely beautiful specimen again, though. Here he comes. The moment of truth. What do you reckon, everybody? Get your guesses in the chat for how much Dan's is going to weigh. You obviously can't see it yet, but uh, don't say yet. Let them guess in the chat. Let them guess the weight in the chat. Oh, really? Oh, he just spoiled it then. Oh, that is a beast, isn't it? All oh, right, there you go. <laughs> Dad Lift just spoiled it. Lift it up. Woo. Oh, it's got a main lead. That's an extra pound. Oh. Are you just taking, um, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, no, that's big, isn't it? I did take the stones off it as well before I weighed it. Fair play, mate. Stones. Fair play. Yeah, mate. Oh, what a beauty. What a beauty. Uh, pork crate mode or... Mate. Make sure it's a good picture. Do I get a little bit, a bit further back so you can get in the screen? Look at that, everybody. Oh, Dan's got, he's got a butterfly. Oh. <laughs> Lovely female Dan has caught his first double figure short court ray, everybody. Yeah. How much? £10.8. £10.8 £10 undulate ray for Dangler and a 7.7 .7 for me. Mm hmm. Oh, get bitten, I dare you. You want to watch Dangler get bit by a £10 ray? Oh. Oh, 
<laughs> Happy oh, days. How's your scroll pound? What was the fight like? Oh, what a beauty. Three a little bit over this way. Oh, that's good. Sweet, what a beast. Yeah. What a beast. Yeah, He's ready to go, so we're going to get her straight back in. Can we film it? Well, we'll bring you lot as well on my phone. Happy days, everybody. What a session. Happy days. <laughs> You whistled at him. <laughs> we'll go on the next way. Happy days. Make sure she's gone. There we go, she go now. Yeah. <laughs> Happy days. Happy days, mate. Well done. Well done. Happy days. Happy days. Happy days. How wrong was I? Still got quite over there. Still got quite over there. Happy days, everybody. Happy days. Keep them coming. We hope so. We'll get that bait out. Squid and Sandy. That's what Dan has it on. That little bit of squid that I just gave him, caught him at Ray, eh? Happy days. Let's get this bait out. Days, everybody. Array each so far. Array each. Lovely job. What well, cracking ray on the beach? Yeah, Dan's double figure. Ten pound eight ounce. Mine seven point seven. Beautiful. Tell Stu's over chucking pots of nets all over at Selsey. Uh, we saw there was a net about two groins over from him. There was a, obviously tie between two groins. So. Potentially, that's what it is, but uh, I'm sure we're probably all casting on the same sort of distance, to be honest. It's like hailing, sounds like SK is in the house, South Coast Dream Team. 
Sweet Corn Kid is unfortunately heading home because he has lost too much gear in a net and he's uh, lost quite a bit of line on his uh, reel. So he's going to be sending it home, unfortunately. Very sad. Very unfortunate. Let's run. How you doing, my friend? Are you near the skate park? We are uh, right. If you go right from the skate park, looking at the sea, that's where we are. Play more fish in the sea. Happy days. Great session, lads. Indeed, we're having an absolute blast. Get a sling, we will indeed, Andy. We will get a IKEA bag at the least. Do apologise, everybody. Unknown cryptid, how you doing, mate? Uh, it's all, all quiet over there. Yeah, happy days. AJ, how you doing? Get in, Dangles. Happy days. Congrats on the raid, lads. AJ, you're heading. We are over the moon, both of us. That is a yeah, cracking session already. It could get a lot better. Get in, Dangles, indeed. Happy days. Happy days. A male and a female ray court, eh, between us. Beautiful. See if we can get some more tonight. Let's see if we can get some more. Potentially getting some sort of pull down the left hand rod. That's gone down a little bit. Going to have to do up some more whole squid baits and change the right hand rod in five or ten minutes. Beautiful. Does anyone know? Oh, how about getting a uh, pull down maybe? Or is that both of them doing that? Both of them doing that. Does anyone know how is Will doing this evening? Because he is on the same stretch of beach as us, I believe. Has he had any fishies yet? <clears throat> oh, what was that on the right hand rod? Good time on that right
probably just a wave for stuff. We are back. We just don't want a sweet corn kid because he is uh, <clears throat> sending off. So it's a nice tip. Uh, buy 20 quid for an NGT carp sling, 1.2 meters long. They are uh, for 34 for my congas. 90 pound sturgeon, you see. Okay, cool, Paul. Sit on those hands, Matt. Happy days. Yeah, I'll have a look into it, but um, I imagine the IKEA bags, you get the blue IKEA bags for probably about 30p or a pound or something like that. And I've got a couple of those at home. I did use them before, but um, it's just one of those things that gets forgotten about sometimes. But yeah, we definitely will get uh, into that sort of thing because it's uh, for the best. Right then, whole squid bait again. Let's get that chucked out, everybody. As I said, Sweet Corn Kid is unfortunately going home because he has uh, got caught up in a net four or five times. <clears throat> yeah, he snapped off four or five times. What's wrong, Paul? There's nothing wrong with using an IKEA bag, my friend. They're massive. They are pretty big. Right then. Whole squid, we're going in again. Well, that tide's coming up, so we're going to have to move up soon. That is coming pretty close. Big wave could probably take us out at this point. But uh, we are going to have to go high up on the uh, shingle and probably set the tent up. <clears throat> Curbside, how you doing, mate? Welcome in. 77 people here, 135 likes. Thank you so much, all. If you are just joining, I've had a seven pound, seven ounce undulate ray. And Dangler has had his first ever shore court double figure undulate ray at 10 pound and eight ounces. <clears throat> Dangler's ready about 15 minutes ago. Mom was about half an hour ago. So yeah, do scroll back and have a looky. Both absolutely over the moon. Caught target species for the night, which is amazing. So yeah, just doing up another whole squid bait and we'll get that chucked out now. We currently have squid and sand eel out there at the minute. Jason, how you doing, mate? Welcome in. I've had a 7.7 .7 pound undulate ray about half an hour ago and Dangler has had a 10 pound eight undulate ray about 15 minutes ago so yeah do scroll back as i said right then whole squid done up let's get that chucked out everybody oh almost lost the phone oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi.
with me, everybody. Gonna move up everybody. Ty is coming in from behind us and below us. Let's move all the way up here. Got these rods moving on. Fish on, how you doing? Welcome in. Sorry, Matt and everyone, but having no problem with the live stream. Keep going. Sorry, everybody. I am trying to sort out all of the uh, connection problems. I'm now up higher up, so it should be fine now. Oh, oi, oi, oi. Oh, Steve Sheriff, after a crap weekend at work, thanks for your escapism. Great content as always. Steve Sheriff, thank you so much for the super chat. Everybody, I do apologise for the uh, lagging in and out. I do apologise, Captain Jim. Steve Sheriff, thank you so much for the super chat. Absolute legend. Dano's uh, did the same, must be on YouTube. Uh, probably not. I do know that I had a bit of bad service down where I was because I was behind a groin and below stones and everything like that. So, yeah, it probably was on my end. Steve, thank you so much for the super chat. Everybody, thank you so much. We really do appreciate the support. We're having a blast down here. We should be set up now. Should be good to go. Quick go through the super chats tonight. Kojak, Captain Jim, Albert times two, and Steve Sheriff. Thank you so much, guys. I really do appreciate it. Right then. Yeah, we've had a 7.7 .7 ounce ray for me and a 10.8 for Dangler. It's happy days. We're going to get another bait set up and um, we may plug the microphone in because there's a little bit of wind up here. We are literally at the top of the beach right now. If you can see down there, there is a pretty big drop, especially on the right-hand side, if I show you guys. You can't really see a depth perception, but you can see up there and then down there, it's about a two meter drop of stones and we were in the corner over there. So uh, yeah, let's give it a go down here. And uh, yeah, hope you get some more rays, everybody. 
Gonna get another squid and sand eel bait done up, so give me a second. Do let me know if the wind is bad, as I will be able to plug the microphone in, everybody. So yeah, do tell me, please. Unfortunately, as I said, we are no longer here with Sweet Corn Kid, as he uh, was fishing a bit of rougher ground than me and Dan, and he uh, snapped off four times or so. So he's uh, unfortunately sent it home as he uh, can't deal with it anymore and he's lost too much line. Right, so yeah, we've still got some sand eel baits left. We have got some cuttlefish, which we may put out later. We have got some octopus, which we probably won't use tonight since the squid seems to be pretty hot at the minute. Uh, we've got some joey mackerel. We've got two packs of octopus, what's going on there? Oh, two packs of octopus, maybe we'll have to use some octopus then. We shall see. We have got some squid and black lug wraps. We have some black lug as well that's loose that I bought as well for tackle shops. So yeah, we'll see where it goes tonight. But hopefully it goes towards some more rays. Wouldn't that be perfect, eh? Right then, let's see what we got. Let's get everything out of the bag, everybody. Do bear with me and we'll get another bait out. Sandy on black lug bait there, I might put out next actually. We'll give that a go, why not? Right then, cool. Right, we'll go for a black lug and sand eel wrap that we made last week on Wednesday. We'll give that a go. So there you go, We've got one black lug wrapped in half with a sand eel the gills cut open and the tail cut off. So we'll change that bait out and give that a go, everybody.
Right, we'll get some more squid baits done up, everybody, and uh, yeah, sit pretty. So that's a pretty big tide tonight, I believe. It's a 5.5 meter, and that is a high tide at 11.30 tonight. So uh, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of movement out there, and it may be tough to hold bottom. But fingers crossed, we will be okay. Yeah, Steve Sheriff, thank you so much for the support and the kind words. Do really appreciate it and the super chat as well. Absolute legend, mate. Thank you so much. We've had a banging stream so far, me and Dan. I've only had one fish so far, one fish, and it has been that lovely undulate ray. Can't get better than that. Can't complain at all. Right, let's get some more baits done up, everybody. Gonna get another whole squid whipped up and we'll get that right hand rod checked soon enough. 64 people, 144 likes. Really do appreciate it, everyone. Thank you so much. If you are new to the channel and are enjoying the content, do smash that sub button. Really does help. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Yeah, got a lot of tide pull going on at the minute. You can see the rods are pulling down, so it's gonna make the bite detection a little bit more difficult, but hopefully we'll be able to get through it and uh, catch another fish. Stu or Sweet Corn Kitty was catching small strap conger eels in his groin. Dan's had, I think, a tiny, oh yeah, two dogfish, I think, two dogfish and a ray. And like I said, I've only had that ray so far, so yeah, pretty good, pretty good. I reckon we may get a Joe Mackerel bait done up at some point. Be cool to chuck half a Joe Mackerel out, see if we can catch a big conga, or a big bass, or a big ray, something like that. We'll uh, get that bait up now. We'll go for that next. We have got a rig somewhere, sat around. Here it is, we've got a uh, up and over pulley rig from, of course, sea weights. So yeah, we'll put a Joe Mackerel on here and give that a go. Half a Joey mackerel, not gonna put a whole one, only a half. Happy days. Me and Dan do plan on going out tomorrow, so we've got some crabs for tomorrow, which is good. We may go get some more, see if we can find some uh, soft back or peeler crabs tomorrow. We shall see. Right then. That's a nice size Joe Mack. We're going to cut it in half and get it whipped on everybody. And I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. Do the same thing as the sand eels and cutting the gill plates open. Let's that juice run out a little bit more. I had uh, my PB conga down here not too long ago and then I broke that down a uh, little Hampton way. I think it was uh, just over double figure conger reel off the beach down Selsey. That was in front of the, um, I've got Violet tomorrow, I do indeed have Violet tomorrow, don't you worry. 147 likes, thank you so much all. You had a just over double figure conger down here and then I had a 13 pounder down um, little Hampton way. But uh, there's definitely some big specimens down here to catch the old congers. 100% some big boys down here. So yeah, I'll show you how the bait is being presented in a minute. And we will uh, get the right hand rod changed out and hopefully get into a big conga. <clears throat> Can't wait for the squid fishing this year. I wanna do a bit of that, get some fresh squid, obviously mackerel season as well. That is gonna be upon us soon with summer coming in. Shout out to Mr. and Mrs. Diner. Happy days. Do let me know if the wind's bad. We've got a bit of wind coming through. I can put the microphone in if you so wish, everybody. Do let me know. I doubt I'm going to put the tent up. Just finished my chips, lovely. You actually went and picked up some frozen chips from Mr. and Mrs. Diner. Can't tell if you're joking or not, mate. No, the shop's open, is that why? Dangler's reeling in, he's reeling in a bit quickly, so I don't think he's got a fish on there. 
Here we go. Half the Joe mackerel bait. We've cut the uh, gill plate open on both sides. We'll get that changed out for the uh, right hand rod bait in a couple of minutes, everybody. Tim and Mariner. Marina, Mariner. You're not joking, when I got some frozen chips from Tim and Marina. Happy days, mate, fair play. Shop was shut, yeah. See a message, Tim and Marina. Some frozen chips for a chip butty, the boy. What a legend. Fair play, Dano, mate. How did you get on earlier? I did ask, but I don't know if it was a... Don't know if it was a response. How did you get on? Using Verm, King Verm. A bit chilly up here, I might put my uh, jacket on in a minute. Would you guys like to put the microphone in? Is there too much wind or a lot of wind or anything like that? Do let me know please and I will plug it in if needs be. It's all down to your viewing experience, listening experience. Rubbish mate, not a bite, really? What, and you dug all the bait yourself and everything? That's uh. Not the best of fun. You're certainly on the fish, good lad. Happy days, isn't it? Hoping to get another one at least. That would be uh, perfect if we can get one more. Be over the moon, catching one more. But yeah, literally my only fish though, that's the thing. My only fish so far tonight. If we can get a smooth out, that'd be amazing. Lots of wind, okay, I will put the microphone on. And what's so bad about grabbing chips from your pal, lol? I don't know, I've never experienced that before, my friend, that's all I can say. Got to do what you got to do. Right, go plug the microphone in now. Hello, friends, hopefully we are connected. Got to put it in a place where we're not going to lose it, hopefully. I was in need and thought, ah, Tim will have some. Happy days, you're all right then. Right, please let me know if the microphone's working, everybody. Fingers crossed we don't lose it, that would suck. Hello, can you hear me? Welcome back to the Fishing with Matt channel, Sue. Nice, happy days. Gonna get you guys put in my zippy pocket and put the zip up so hopefully that uh, keeps it clamped down. All about making memories, fish are just an added bonus. Fish on, happy days mate, innit? Happy days. We've had a beautiful fish today. Can't ask for anything more than that. Right, one more minute, I'm gonna check that right hand rod, everybody. Oh god, we're getting a bit of pull down now. Oi, 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 that's not even fish, that's a uh, weed or tide. Nasty. Guess see how many black lug we got left in this wrap as well. Feels pretty heavy, to be fair. Might try dry them out. One, two. Oh, there's plenty in here. I'm not even gonna bother unwrapping it. Just gonna leave it out there. Sea weights of the monthly competition for the rest of the year. All cash reports posted on Sea Weights Facebook will be automatically entered into the draw to win a Sea Weights package. When is this package getting drawn? That's what I'm wondering. That's what I'm wondering indeed. Well, hi, Maddie. How's it going tonight? Uh, I'll be just having butty tomorrow with no chips. Go on, see what you've done to Tim, eh? See what you've done. Jamie, about probably 45 minutes ago, I had a 7.7 .7 pound ray, and then about half an hour ago, Dan had a 10.8 pound ray. More volume? You might be able to turn it up on your end, but that's the best we're gonna get from me, but it should be a good enough volume, I think. Shouldn't be anything wrong with the microphone being there. Right, let's get that right hand rod in, everybody, and uh, get a Joe mackerel bait out. Exciting times. Go for a conger, eh? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, please let me snag. We're out. Wherever it was, we're out. We have to cast to the left a little bit, I think. Seems like they're getting pulled to the right, and there is a groin pretty close to the right-hand side of us. I have to check with my light that we're not getting pulled over with that other rod. I don't want to lose any more gear, man. 
I believe this was a squid and sand deal wrap. On that rod we currently got out there is sand eel and black lug wrap. Give it that a go. We've got a lot of uh, pulley down weight on there, so we have to attend to that in a minute. Probably some weed or a snag, something like that. We'll have to see. Right, there's still bait on there. That shouldn't be snagged yet. Right then, let's cast this one out to the left next. So we'll move this rod over. Oh, yo, yo, there's a lot of weight on here. A lot of tension in the rod. Get back in there. Right then, let's get a Joey mackerel out there, half a Joey mackerel, and give it a go for a conga or a bass. Probably gonna chuck it a little bit closer in than normal, or just cast from up here. Gonna take the weight off and then clip the rig down, because we've got an up and over rig on this one. So here's the next bait. Half a Joey mackerel on a 2-0 up and over sea weights pulley rig. Lovely job. Hopefully we can catch a nice conger on this. As I said, a nice bass. You have to bring in that right hand rod as well, as I said, we're gonna either break the rod or uh, gonna fall over. We're gonna get these leads and pop-up beads all glowed up, as well as the beads on the line, normal beads. Get it all clipped down up and over and everything like that as well. Beautiful streamlined rig. Let's get it going. Nice trident up and over a bit there. Come on. There we go. All clips down. Let's get it glowed up, sent out everybody, and hope for a con or a bass. A big ray would take a mackerel bait like this as well, so yeah. Good stuff, very good stuff. Get our lead done up, get that glow bead done up. We'll get it chucked out, everybody. Almost lost the rod then, right then. Might walk down a little bit. Oh, no, I'm cast up here. Send it. Hopefully it's not going to be too rough that we can't sort of uh, fish down here. It's definitely a thing that could happen. All right, then. Nice cast. Right in the thick of it, that was. All right, there we go. The wind doesn't help either with all this uh, rough seas. Well, I'm going to make a bait and then replace that right. I've got a squid and a black lug bait already done up, so we'll replace it with that. Hopefully this holds bottom and isn't in the waves too much. I like it probably is in the waves, to be fair. Right, let's get a right hand rod in and come check the chat, everybody. Fingers crossed this isn't snagged. We are all good. Potentially a bit of weight on here. Could be a small fish on here, potentially. Could be seaweed. We shall see. Don't think there's anything on here. Nope. What's going on there? Seaweed. Oh, righty, tighty. Seaweed on the shock leader knot. Cool. All right, let's get this changed out to a uh, black lung squid bait. Maybe a whole squid again, to be fair. Probably better off doing that. All these squid and sand eel. See if we've got a whole squid whipped up, ready to go. So, yeah, squid and black lug untouched. Not the biggest fan of black lugs, to be honest. I think there probably still is cod down here, to be honest. Or at least codling, so always a chance. 
Thank you for popping it in the chat, everybody. How are you all doing? Hope everyone is doing well. 150 likes, thank you so much. You're real, see how you doing, mate? Welcome in. You never said, need for speed, how you doing? That sea weights link doesn't work. Where's the sea weights link? Should be uh, seaweights.co.uk, everybody. I don't know if you even posted a link. Here comes Dangler. Let's see what he's going to say. Ooh. Yeah. That's well yeah. Pretty nasty, isn't it? Kind of close to unfishable. May get worse as the tide comes up. I've chucked one in close now. Yeah, I've put uh, half a joey out. Chop one in real close, like 20, 30 yards. Or well, for a bass, or? Yeah, not even that. With a squid on. Fair play. Happy days, mate, innit? What a session already. Yeah, mate. I've had one fish and it's been, it's been that ray. I've had two dogs. Yeah, mate. Ray. Can't be that, can you? It's crazy how dark it is down there, look. That's pretty nasty, innit? No light pollution around here, isn't it? Pretty nice, to be fair. I did a, um, a night picture on my rods. Yeah. Pretty sick. See all the stars and like all the background like glows up orange. Fair play. I think you showed me that before, to be fair. Right, we're gonna get a whole squid out again, everybody. Dan's just come over and said about the swell, like I uh, predicted. I predicted that. I think he's gonna come over and say, uh, holding bottom sort of thing. But uh, there you go. Swell, same thing. I mean, it's not too bad, old and bottom. I mean, I'm no. passing out to the left, and it's just going down in front of me, so. Yeah. So you need to get that drawing. Yeah. Have you got one cast in this groin or not? Sorry? Have you got one cast in this groin? Not that, yeah. Have you got one cast in this groin? Are they both on the other side? Much straight out. Okay. How did I get you or vice versa? How did that happen? Right. Weird. Fair play. Weird. I think that rod that got you tangled was the one that I left out for a while while I was talking to Stu. Fair and play. There's a dogfish on there, so obviously I like, dislodged the lead or something. Fair play. Well, we're going to cast this one out on the right hand side. There is a groin, as Dan said, but uh, we should be able to cast far enough away from that. We have a good old whack out. Oh yeah, hopefully get into another ray, please. That is a whole squid bait, that one. Good cast, very good cast. So we've got a uh, half a Joey mackerel on that rod we got out there in the stand. And that is pretty close in. So yeah, we'll see what develops of that. Yeah, you've got a nice squid bait cast out. We need to make some more wraps up. Dan gave us a pack of sand deal, so yeah, we'll sort that out in a minute. Here, see which way this rod is going. It's sort of over the other one, but uh, I'm sure it'll be okay. I know, we've got. Yeah, pretty nasty swell down there. You definitely wouldn't want to get uh, stuck in the water down there because you have a very difficult time getting out if you just fall in. Come on, the fishies. Right then, let's have a look. Yeah, Kojo, do you know when the uh, sea weights competition is being finished? When's it finishing? Is it the end of the year? Is it the end of the month? That's the only thing I uh, don't understand at the minute. Right then, we're going for a uh, wrap with baby cuttlefish now. I'm going to do one head to tail sort of thing. Month to month, okay, cool. Lovely job. See if we can get up to 200 likes, people. It's going to be a tough one with other people going live, but you never know. If we're out here for long enough, we may be able to do it. We're going to go for a uh, double octopus, maybe octopus baits. 30th of April, nice. I'll definitely get my uh, catch report up then for this month. See if we can win a sea weights package. 
I believe as well, guys, if you are interested in uh, raffles and things like that, there is a raffle going on in one of the uh, local group chats for the South Coast. And it's a five pounder number from a trusted guy. And it's for a big old sea weights package. There's probably about 16 LEDs, um, 10 rigs, something like that. I don't know the exact number, but it's a big old package. So um, if you are interested in that, do say. And uh, someone could probably drop a link for that. But yeah, it's a nice package worth a good chunk of money. Five pound the number, there's a couple of numbers left. I personally haven't entered, but that's because I don't want to be doing gambling and stuff like that. Probably shouldn't promote it really either, but um, it's there if you want to have a look. Each month there'll be a £30 sea waste package to be won. Happy days. Nice stuff. Well, we've got a fat old sausage going here with the octopus. Let's see if it is uh, nice and strong, if it's a, a limp bait. Do you know what? That is uh, not bad. Probably a 5 0 hook for that. That's a good conga bait, that. Double octopus, everybody. Happy days. We'll uh, see if we can find a rig for that to go on. What's Dan got? We got <laughs> strap conga. He's got a shoelace. The boy. The boy. If you're joining on the left hand rod, we have got. Uh, yeah, 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 tangled up rigs. Uh, left hand rod, we have got half a Joe Mackerel. And the right hand rod, we've got a whole squid, everybody. Oi, oi, oi. What a day. Fishing down Selsey. High tide is 11.30. I've had a £7, 7 ounce undulate ray, and Dan has had a £10, 8 ounce undulate ray. So, yeah, very, very good evening so far. Be nice to get into another one. Right, let's go look if I've got a uh, suitable rig to put that bait on. Like I said, probably like a 5 0 hook sort of bait for that. May have to alter one of my pulleys that I've made in here and put a 5 0 on. Yeah, do that. I've got a pulley right here. I've got a 4 0, I'll do 4 0. Depends which one we've got, 4 0 or 5 0. There's a 4 0 there and 5 0 below. Let's have a look. We'll go for a 4 0. Plenty big enough. See, as I said, octopus is a bait I want to use more. But um, if it's not catching fish, there's no point. But it just seems like it could be such a banging bait. <whistles> Dangler! Angler! Oh, left hand rod going mental in the waves. Right then. Just getting a 5 0 hook put onto a pulley rig, everybody. I'm going to put a double octopus bait on. We'll uh, give that Joe Mackerel 10 minutes or so, 10 15 minutes, and then we'll change it out. Thank you to everyone who is here this evening and supporting the channel. Really do appreciate it. Hope you're having a wonderful evening and had a wonderful weekend. If you got out fishing, do uh, say in the chat what you caught. Not sure how many people would have got out fishing because the weather is pretty atrocious in most areas, I'd imagine. But yeah, if you've uh, caught something interesting, then do say in the chat. It'd be pretty cool to see what's going on in different places. Lovely double octopus bait, eh? Massive chunky bait. Perfect for a Congo Wongo. Let's get some more squid and sand eel baits done up as well. Dan caught his on squid and sand eel. I caught mine on whole squid. So uh, yeah, squid is obviously the uh, deciding factor at the minute. 
for the raise. Oi, 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 that right hand rod's put in. And the other one. Oi, 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 nasty bit of swell. Could be good for the bass. Dan said, though, he's got a rod close in. There we go, 5 -oh hook. That's 4 -oh, sorry. With a double octopus bait on there. We'll get that put out next instead of the joey. I think we've got a rig round here as well somewhere. So we're going to need to find that, wherever I put that. Pretty sure I've got a rig somewhere. Where is it? Not good. I don't like losing rigs, especially when it's a sea weight one. More rum. Oi, 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 oi. Yep, got it here. Nice. We'll get another bait on this one. Have ourselves fully prepared, everybody. Have a bait ready to go on both rods. Lovely, right, where's my scissors now? Gee whiz. Oi, 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 what a moron. A grade moron, there they are. I need to get myself a bucket, that's what I've been thinking. Get a bucket so I can put all my uh, bait elastic scissors, bait mate tool, everything like that in. So I'm not asking where it is every two minutes. Right, squid and sand eel wrap, let's give that a go. I think me and Dan go fish locally tomorrow. I might do a video if Dan's doing a live stream. If not, I might crack up a live stream. Um, Wednesday, I may go out in the evening. Not gonna be able to go out during the day. Just gonna have to see what happens. God, so glad I caught that rave before the swell started picking up. See! What? Call me, my friend. Huh? Shout out me a minute ago. Yeah? Yeah! Nice one, mate. Happy days. I've done a stinky fart and it seems to be uh, slowly coming up from my iMac suit. Nice. Yeah, nice controlled whiff. Happy days. Call that conga, um, like 20 yards out. Yeah, fair yeah, play. Nice. Not bad, another fish, another species. Watch out for that line. What? It's going straight to the groin. Is it? Probably over the groin, yeah. I have to lift it high and reel it over the groin. You reckon? Yeah. Always the tide going. I thought it was going left to right. Either, either. Right, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not fun. That swell though, eh? Pretty mental. Yeah, pretty nasty. Wouldn't want to fall in there, would you? Wouldn't make it out of there very easily. It's quite good where I am, because if I'm reading the fish on the left, yeah. where I'm higher up, 
Like when I brought the rate in, the rate just came in on the surface. Nice. I saw a couple of eyes and I thought, oh no, another goldfish. Yeah. I saw it, I was like, yeah. Happy days. Well, I'm going to bring that right hand rod in, everybody, before we uh, lose it. Sort of gone slack as well for some reason. So it uh, means we snagged, we got a fish. Uh oh. Uh oh. That can't be on the groin, can it? That's like out there. I don't think going that side of the groin is going to help. Give me a second, everybody. See if we can get this unstuck. Oi. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, I don't like losing gear. Oi, 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 oi. Damn, man. Nasty. Lost another weight. Not good. Home time. Home time. Fun, man. Huh? Probably. That's fun. Uh, right then. I haven't got any weights really. I've only got uh, rolling ones and wireless grippers. I've got another seven ounce that I'm not using. Nah. Uh, bit, bit choppy, in it really. Huh? Yeah. Anything yet, Neil? I've had a seven pound, seven ounce undulate ray and Dan's had a 10 pound, eight ounce undulate ray. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Just snapped off, unfortunately. I got snagged. Not fun, man, lost a lot of gear recently. They sort of got pretty rough down here with the swell and stuff. I think it's pretty difficult to fish. I reckon I'll put another rig on because we have got some uh, baits to use up. But uh, when the tide gets higher, it may become pretty hard to fish down here, I'm not going to lie. Close in. That's hot off a Joey. That sucks, man. I've only got one sea weight, pink weight now. Or well, the gripper ones. Ooh. Sad times, my friends. What? Oh. No more gear. <laughs> oh, you lost all your gear. Huh? Well, you thought all your gear was gone. Yeah. Tan was got washed away there. Uh, we'll uh, see what happens with the swell, everybody. I'm just tying on another quick connect clip now. We'll get another bait out. Uh, I'm not going to put any shock gear on. We may have to cast a little bit closer in, that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, we're going to be using a wireless gripper lead now, so it may be pretty difficult to um, hold bottom, potentially. 
definitely need a gripper led round here. Yo, Richard Jarvis, how you doing, Richard? I've had a seven pound, seven ounce ray and Dangler has had a 10 pound, eight ounce ray. So we're having a pretty good session so far. We just unfortunately lost some gear, but we have got some more gear coming on the way next week, which is very nice. Coming at the right time. I've got some uh, other weights at home to be fair, but they haven't got patterns and stuff and they haven't got the uh, clip down stuff on them. Right, I'm going to go for a wireless gripper lead. And we're going to put a squid and sandhill wrapper on. We're not going to chuck it out as far, I don't think. Because, yeah, the swell's pretty nasty. We'll see how uh, long we can uh, keep fishing out here. But, yeah, might be a bit difficult. Might be a bit difficult. Very happy that we've caught a nice ray tonight though. That is definitely happy days. All right then, let's see if we can cast a little bit to the left and get away from this groin. Nice little cast. Oh, good cast, very nice. Let's hope we can hold bottom with that. The wireless clippers are very good at holding the bottom, to be fair, but uh, yeah, we testing them to the limits for sure. Make sure it's sunk to the bottom. Probably in about three or four metres of water out there where we're casting. Probably four or five to be fair. Right then. Let's hope that holds bottom. So those just joining, we've just chucked out a squid and sand hill bait on the left hand rod. Uh, the right hand rod, we've got half a Joe mackerel. Kind of close in to be fair. We'll change out the uh, Joe mackerel bait in about 10 minutes or so for a double octopus bait. Yo, no way, yo, Richard, oh my God, everybody. Richard, 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 no way. Richard just sent me 30 pounds on PayPal for some new fishing weights. He's going crazy. Richard sent me so much recently. He sent me money for bait, he sent me money for weights. Richard, thank you so much for fuel as well. Richard Jarvis, what's going on, mate? Richard, are you okay? Are you okay, Richard? Guys, get something explode in the chat. We have just had a 30 pound donation from, Sue, uh, from Richard. <laughs> Richard, mate, thank you so much. That is really, really generous. We've got a package coming literally next week. Craig's sending it out on Monday. But um, we'll get some more weights and more rigs now. Happy days. Sweet as a nut. That is really, really kind, really generous. That makes it actually over the moon, Richard. Thank you so much. Ooh, the boy, Richard. <laughs> That is insane, mate. You are going crazy, Richard. We're hopefully going to get some uh, bait tomorrow as well, so uh, we'll put a post up on the community page, as always, if we do manage to go down to the bait shop. I've got the little one tomorrow, so um, I may go during the day, but then, yeah, going with Dangler, fishing about four o'clock, getting out and uh, trying to catch some bass, potentially, to tomorrow. But, Richard, thank you so much. I will... Um, Message Craig in the morning and we'll get an order in, another order in, and get plenty more weights. I'm going to need some more six ounce gripper leads because, uh, yeah, I seem to be going through them, which is pretty upsetting. But um, they're catching us the fishy. There he is, sea weights, the boy. Any luck? We haven't had anything. Ethan, did you see? I had a seven pound, uh, seven ounce undulate ray, male undulate ray, and Dangler had a 10 pound, eight ounce undulate ray as well. Nice female. So they had a ray each, and uh, I've only had the ray, that's been my only fish of the night. Dan's had two dogfish and a tiny eel as well. Sweet Corn Kid had three or four tiny eels, and he uh, got snagged three or four times, so he uh, went home. But yeah, Richard Jarvis, what an absolute legend, mate. Thank you so much, Richard. 
bait and weights have been sorted out for the next two or three months. Hopefully the weights last a bit longer than that, to be fair. But yeah, we're going to get some more pulley rigs as well, because they are very, very nicely made pulley rigs. Richard, absolute legend. I'll have to come down and meet you at some point. See if we can get out fishing. Come meet Big Sean, mate. I know I'm late to the party, but I've had family around. Richard, family comes first all day, every day, mate. Don't you worry. No matter what's going on, family always has to come first. Big Sean, the boy. Well, we did have a drink around here somewhere. I've lost that as well. There it is, found it. Here comes Dangler again. The boy. So I'm going to make a sensible call and say I'm going to have one more cast yep. on my big bait and call it. Yeah. Or you don't want to lose any gear? No, it's not that. Huh? Still got over an hour to a high tide. It's and the tide's going to come up. It's going to be coming up over yeah. here. We've got nowhere to go. I'll put it. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Look, it's just going to come up and over and you can't go anywhere. You reckon? And he just, it, it came up to like the back of my rod stand a second ago. <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, probably all right up here. I mean, probably crashed over to be fair, isn't it? Right, guys, uh, Dan has just made a uh, pretty intelligent call. And he said he's probably going to be on his last cast because the waves are coming up pretty ferociously. And um, If we had an escape route, then it would be all right, but we haven't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was about an hour till high tide. And, um, yeah, Dan said the waves are coming up over there. This head torch is a bit dodgy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, it's not going on. Yeah. Not turning off either. We'll bring in my right hand rod, have one more cast, and then call it. Yeah, Dan's going to have one more cast there, everybody, and um, call it for tonight. For safety concerns, if you can see down there, the water is um, coming up towards his rods, and these are calm waves at the minute. And uh, that's literally the only bit of beach we have. Some of the waves are like six, eight to eight foot. Yeah, he's making a sensible call there. Here it comes. Oh, yeah, that is literally... Oh, my God. OK, fair play. Here we go. That's not as big, is it? Oh. Maybe. Yeah, these aren't even big waves and they're coming pretty close to our gear, everybody. So um, I think it's a really pretty sensible idea to uh, call it a little bit earlier. We will change out the left hand rod. I think it's the right hand rod with the Joe Mackerel bait on and um, get another cast on the go. But as we have just heard from Dangler, he's going to be packing up and it's probably best if I do as well. I'm in a bit of a higher position than what Dan is, but. Um, yeah, we don't want to get swept out from our feet and dragged into the uh, tide down there. That will not be fun. Been trying to get Richard up on my boat for a few years now. Yeah. Uh, Dan mentioned that you uh, invited him out for that smooth down trip. And I said, I wonder why you didn't message me. He said, probably because you were puking over the side of his boat the entire time. I was like, yeah, fair play. So I think I've uh, probably got myself off the... Uh, list of uh, going out on people's boats and that to be fair but um oh well it is what it is i want to try and uh, go on some charter boats and stuff like that but i don't want to ruin the experience for other people some puking stuff so i don't know we'll have to see what happens maybe i can sort something out he's an xmas so a bit of a trek yeah dan looks pretty worried over there appeared to have a lot more money than i should have it will uh, happen, I promise. Ah, uh, Richard, spend it wisely. All I can say, don't let it go to your head, my friend. We uh, appreciate what you do around here. You have uh, sent me an awful lot of money recently, and I really do appreciate it. But um, just keep family in mind. Keep old Sean in mind, stuff like that, my friend. You never know what could happen. You might find a nice 18-year-old model well, that sounded a bit weird, but you might find a nice supermodel for yourself. Best be safe and call it. Yeah, Dan's in a lower position than what I'm at. And as you can see, the waves are coming pretty close to his stuff, and we have an hour till high tide, and uh, after where he is, there's nowhere else to go that's higher than that. So, 
Yeah, better to be safe. I think safety, that's the one. Is there a bit of a delay on the live stream? It feels like I'm saying stuff and then 30 seconds later, people are commenting. All you have, mate? What's that? You got yourself an 18 year old girlfriend or you're treating old Sean? <laughs> Well, we're going to bring in that right rod and put a uh, octopus bait out, everybody. And then we'll think about doing another bait on the other rod. It seems, actually, that that... Um... Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, really? No, come on, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we out. Hey, we're out. Oh, thank God. Hey, I know we said that super chat from Richard. If I lost another weight, I'd be uh, pretty upset. Seems like we might be tangled another other line as well, to be fair. OK, we've got either line and seaweed. That makes a little bit of sense. OK. Oi, oi, oi. I would have been very, very upset if we lost another weight, I'll tell you that much. Right, let's sort this out. What's going on here? We'll be out fishing tomorrow, everybody, whether it'll be me or Dan live. I imagine Dan will probably want to crack a live up. I'll maybe cheeky and put a vertical up. We shall see. There we go, we are off. Right then, let's put a uh, double octopus bait out. Looks like that Joe Mackerel's actually gone. No way. That Joe Mackerel's gone. Whether it got washed away or whatnot, I'm not sure, but that, <laughs> that entire Joe Mackerel is gone, everybody. Weird. Didn't see any bites, but obviously with the swell and stuff, it would make seeing bites very difficult. I'm gonna send a picture to Craig about these as well. Here you go, Craig, look. You're still here, Craigie Craig. That's what we were looking for. It's nice ones of these and six and sevens. Thank you to our good friend Richard, eh? The boy. That color, the old pink and purple. We've got some uh, white and blue ones coming next week because uh, they glow up the best, but obviously I love a bit of pink, so that's why we've gone for these ones originally. But uh, yeah, let's get this one chucked out, everybody. The old double octopus bait. And give that a go. This will unfortunately be last cast, everybody. I do apologize. It would have been nice to stay out a little bit longer. I was planning on being here till about 12.30 to be fair, but yeah. For safety reasons, it's best off that we don't get swept from under our feet. Yeah, Dan is literally living life on the edge over there, so you may call it before I even do. Got to be really, really careful. You only get one shot in life. And uh, I definitely don't want to drown down there, I'm not going to lie. A lot of the beach has been pushed up like this way as well because of all the uh, storms and stuff. Uh, yeah, it is pretty scary, dangerous down there, so we've got to be very, very careful. See so, yeah, a double octopus bait going out, everybody. Oh, I clipped my down. <laughs> oh, don't test me. Well, I'll go for a swim. Someone send me uh, £2.50 and I'll go for a swim, guys. Happy days. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not going for a swim. Right then, here we go. Let's get this double octopus bait sent out. So launch it. Please say that's not over the groin. Which way are we going? Well, we'll leave that, uh, I believe, the squid, I can't remember. I think it was a whole squid. Squid and sand away, probably, on that one. Something like that. We'll give it another 10 minutes and we'll bring it in and then we'll... Uh, work our way through this rod. Gonna start packing up the bait and everything like that. Get tidied up up here. We'll try and keep an eye out for the bites. Hopefully we don't lose this in the groin as well. Actually it's looking pretty edgy to be fair. Yeah you might <laughs> that's gone pretty close to the groin already. I don't want to be deliberately losing gear. Right then let's get some stuff packed away everybody. Do really appreciate the support guys and girls. Let's have a look. Always welcome, Matt. It was in the dark. Uh, we should be okay in daylight. Yeah, definitely. I'll um, if you give me a shout. Obviously, me and Dan, we've got uh, Monday off all day, and either 
Dan will have Tuesday or Thursday off, and then I'll have Wednesday. So on Monday, Wednesday, Dan is Monday or Tuesday and Thursday. But yeah, who knows? At some point, me and Dan may both choose to move to a more sociable hour job, nine till five sort of thing. That would be uh, pretty perfect for what's going on on YouTube and stuff like that. But um, obviously moving, what's it called? Moving uh, industry can expect a bit of a pay reduction, which isn't the best of fun. But if it means uh, chasing more growth on the YouTube, then maybe it's for the best, you never know. But yeah, as I said earlier, we should be on our way to potentially passing 5K this year, you never know. With the current channel growth, it could happen. We've been getting about 300 subs a month recently while doing the uh, vertical lives and having some really good horizontal lives as well, so you never know. As long as I keep putting the effort in, I could be a pretty big channel by the end of the year. We shall see everybody. But yeah, it's all down to you guys and uh, me catching some lovely fish and making some great content. But I'm here for it, I'm here for it. It'd be banging to overtake Dangler, eh? <laughs> he was worried last month, for the month before, he was worried. But um, yeah, I think he's found his feet and he's been getting some good growth. It's not all about overtaking your mates and stuff, but it's just a good bit of fun. We're both doing very well and we're very grateful for it. So yeah, thank you so much everybody in the community that watches both of us. It does mean an awful lot. Looks like Dan is packing one right away, it looks like. Yeah. You thoroughly deserve it. Richard, you've been around since the start, basically. I cannot thank you enough. I will come down to Exmouth at some point, whether I'm on a family holiday down uh, Cornwall Way, we shall see. But um, I imagine a visit to you will be uh, happening at some point. Whether it's this year, I can't say, but um, we'll see if we can sort something out. Definitely be banging to go down to the pub and have a beer, mate. Would thoroughly enjoy that. Go down to the co-op and get a nice bottle of uh, co-op whiskey. Happy days with Richard Jarvis, the boy. Right then. Yeah, I think it's going to get some bait tomorrow. Who's we doing, mate? We are going to be packing up in a minute, me and Dan, because the tide is uh, coming up pretty high over Dan's way, if you can see. He's uh, getting waves coming up to the bottom of this tripod and we've still got an hour till high tide so for safety concerns we are going to get out of here a little bit earlier than what we were expecting. We were fishing this week on Kid guys. If you lot are interested do check out his channel, he does the fishing as well. He's a good old dad old Sweet Corn Kid. He's um, into his videography and uh, cinematic stuff so yeah he's got some really good bits of content on his uh, channel does the unboxings edgy stuff like that he's doing a bit of a team you series at the minute so yeah do go check out his channel if you haven't already everybody got a bit of a slack line going on that right hand rod but um yeah just crazy swell at the minute pretty nasty i hope we don't get snagged up and lose our gear again here we go it could be the same thing that's happening again to be fair hey you're more than welcome more than welcome Stu. I think about that, I've got mentally, it's definitely the wave, I think. Well, I think I'm going to bring this rod in, to be fair. See if we are snagged or not. Please say I'm not snagged again. I think we were, well, bringing this in. I think we were going around that groin again. Right, we're going to start off packing this rod down, everybody, because Dan's already got one packing away now. And we'll leave the uh, squid bait out for a little bit longer. Yeah, I don't want to be losing another weight again. Oh, that was a scary noise. Huh. Is that bait like it's been smashed already? Look at that. That octopus bait may have been smashed. It's obviously rough out there, so it's going to get smashed around anyway, but um, there's a nicely made up wrap. Oh no, maybe not. It's just quite jelly, jelly like. Not a fan of that, to be fair. I thought it could be the boy old octopus, but um, not impressed at the minute. Maybe good off the boat, to be fair. Who knows? Right then, we'll keep an eye on that other rod, everybody. 
I reckon Zoe's going to be happy that I'm going to be uh, coming home when she's awake. Right then. Yeah, do keep an eye out, everybody, for tomorrow. I'll try and let you know if I'm going to be going live or if it's going to be Dangler. Oi, oi, oi. Happy days. We've got some lovely crabs for tomorrow as well. Yeah, I think we're going to fish somewhere in Portsmouth. We're not going to be fishing off Eastney Beach or anything like that. We may be fishing into one of the harbours. Going for bass in a channel. We shall see. But yeah, it could be an exciting time tomorrow. Hopefully I can get some good content if I'm doing a video. But uh, potentially see a nice bass. Might bring some lures as well. We shall see. Right, let's get this rod packed down. Still got one out there, everybody, with a wireless gripper, and it seems to be gripping very nicely. Well done, Craig, with the design, my friend. Well done. The Selzy swell. This reel is beautiful, guys, as well. And I said this was funded through the Super Chats and the YouTube ad money. That was uh, from the 2K month, to be fair. We had a really good month when we hit 2K subscribers, and we used the uh, funds from that to uh, buy this reel. And it is a very, very, very special and nice reel. So we potentially may be buying another one at some point to uh, replace another one. One of the Penrath ones, maybe. We have obviously got the uh, Pen Mag reel, but um, sort of in favour of the multiplier at the minute. I enjoy casting it, but I don't enjoy reeling it in sort of thing. Oi, 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 those waves are coming close to coming over with me as well. Uh, but yeah, may get another Pen Tidal XT reel and potentially have a look into buying an even nicer rod. Maybe uh, buy that six and bait I've always been talking about. Something stiff like that, I don't know. Who knows? Don't want to get too deep into what I may or may not buy. But uh, yeah, maybe get a, a man's rod instead of a boy's rod. Nice century. Could be a zippy zippy, who knows. But yeah, maybe do some lure fishing tomorrow, that'd be nice. Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. Right then. Ooh. Oh, looks like Dan's reeled in his rod as well, so we will come to a close in the next 10 minutes, everybody. An unexpected early finish, eh? At least we caught the target species. The main target, shall we say. We had four in the title. And we had the main one that we wanted. What a beast. Richard, what are you doing? Stop it, Richard. Richard, stop it. Guys, Richard, is uh, he's, he's going crazy. He's just sent us another £20 on PayPal, saying just in case you need a little extra for the family. Richard... That is incredibly generous, and I can't believe you're doing this. But uh, yeah, make sure you're, you're uh, Sean, and that is uh, getting treated very nicely, my friend. Richard, can't believe you've done that. That'll probably go towards uh, some, uh, some more weights, to be fair. The, the family's, uh, yeah. We're doing good, Richard. I really do appreciate it. That is very, very generous. We haven't moved out or anything like that, but uh, it's uh, something that's in the works. It's a difficult thing to do in these times. There's no need for a sob story or anything like that. But uh, Richard, that is a very, very kind gesture. I really do appreciate it. Very, very much. I don't know what to say. I, I can't say anything else without crying or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what to say, Richard. You're very, very, very generous, and I really do appreciate it. Truly amazing. I'll keep that money aside, and I'll uh, use it to buy you a pint at some point. How about that? <laughs> You're crazy, Richard. I really do appreciate it. But yeah, as I said, just make sure that you are okay yourself, my friend. If you ever need to chat something like that, you know that we're all here for you. No matter what it is. It goes for anyone as well. Do really appreciate the support, everybody. If you want to chat that sort of thing, my Facebook is linked in uh, the uh, channel description or uh, channel info. I do add me up 
I've had a couple of people add me on Facebook. Do make sure to send me a message first, though, if you do add me, because uh, I don't add everybody that sends me a friend request, because, um, I don't know, I just don't accept everyone. Richard, thank you so much, though. That is a very, very, very kind gesture. I really do appreciate it. Do I have to say anything, Matt? <laughs> well, I can't not say not thank you, but um, Richard, thank you so much. We'll definitely get some bait and some weights. What's Dan got? He's got a conga. <laughs> Put your finger in its mouth. Here we go, look at that. <laughs> Give it a kiss. Nah. Give it a kiss. He's a wriggler. Give it a kiss. <laughs> See? <laughs> the boy, happy days. Get it back nicely then. There you go, that'll do. Nice. Fair play. Nice one, brother. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Right then. Oi, 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 what a day, Richard. I can't believe it, mate. Exmouth, Exmouth, that's Devon, isn't it? That Devon, is that beyond Devon? I don't know, I'm not good at geography. I'll, um, yeah, make sure I come and see you this year. We'll, we'll promise you that, Richard, we'll come and see you. We better find somewhere to fish down there. We will come and see Ricardo Jarvo and go down the pub. It's going to happen, Richard. It's going to happen. I'll come down and see you. We'll see if Dangler can come as well. I'll bring this spoon with me. I found a spoon on the beach. It'll be my new lucky spoon at the bottom of my tackle box. Meet and greet with Richard Jarvis, the boy. Right then, plenty of bait for tomorrow. Lovely job. 71 people, 165 likes. If you are new to the channel, we have had a lovely undulate ray tonight each. We will get that time stamped. It has been an absolute pleasure. We've got a beautiful fish each. Dangler obviously uh, smashed my one out of the park by a couple of pounds. And that is very much happy days for him. I'll over the moon to catch mine and over the moon for him to catch his. I'd love to meet you, Exmouth Devon. I've got your address from sending you a sticker, so um, we'll see how far the journey is, and uh, we'll sort someone out, Ricardo. Are you still working at co-op? Might see if I can speak to your manager and find out your working hours, and we'll come surprise you on a shift. <laughs> That'd be funny. Doing a live stream, go find Richard Jarvis in the flesh. Absolute legend. Happy days, nice one, well. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll make sure we come and see you. Or at least I'll get down myself. Don't know if we want to do it the same day as Danglis, it might be a bit difficult for him, but um, yeah, we'll come see you, Richard. Happy days, mate. 10 till 6, nice. Oh, was that a bite? Hang about. Oh, Dan almost got swept away. We may be getting a bite on that middle rod. That looks a bit different. Hang about. Hang about, we can get a bite. That's a bite, that's a conga bite, that is. That's a conga. I'm glad we sat around and waited. That is a conga. Yeah, that's conga. Can we get a fish on our last cast? Come on. Oh. Did we get it? Did we get it? Did we get it? Did we get it? There's a bit of weight on here. We may have caught a conga on our last cast, everybody. It's not making any uh, movement on the way in, but uh, there's a bit of weight there. Have we got a conga on the last cast? I hope so. That'd be nice. Oh, oh yeah, it's a nasty tide down there. I can barely reel in. Oi, oi, oi. Well, he lost it by now. Oh, no, we've got some fish on here. We've got a conga, haven't we? Yeah, we got a conga. Lovely job. Nice little conga. Nice size conga. Lovely. Sweet. We called it. Lovely job. He's tied himself up. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. We've probably got about a pound conga, pound and a half. Nice, isn't it? Happy days. Nice. That's probably two pound. Not bad. Uh, no. Look at that. Not bad. Last cast. Not bad. A beautiful ray. And a not bad conga. 
He's very strong. Look at him. Oh, nice. Happy days. Nothing massive. We've got a beautiful conga there. I ain't getting bit, brother. I ain't getting bit. <coughs> Lovely. Look at that. Beautiful. What a fine specimen. We saw the bite. We called the bite. We called the fish. Classic conga bite. We had a classic ray bite. We had a classic conga bite. Oh, it's been a very good night down Selsey, everybody. Not going to get a lot better than that other than catching a cod maybe down here. We caught a lovely specimen of a conga. What we're going to do is because we're up here on the uh, bit of a hill sort of thing, we're going to let them slide down the hill. We'll watch them go down and uh, yeah, watch them go back. Happy days. Look at that. Lovely conga. Mm, red nice. Right then. Let's get them down there. Oh, slippery boys. Right then. We'll make sure he gets back safe, everybody. Happy days. We called that bite, didn't we? Nice one. At the moment, every Wednesday off. Oh, nice. That makes sense for me, then. I might be able to sort someone out, then, on a Wednesday. Yeah, look at that. The tide is coming up these uh, steep rocks. Right, then. There we go. Nice little conga. Dangler! Do you want it in your video? He wants it in his video. Look at that. Lovely. Not bad. Quite thick. Quite thick. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Do you want some content for your video? Or do you want to put them? Yeah, it might as well, isn't it? It's all right, isn't it? Not bad. Yeah. Here we go, then, people. On Matt's last cast as well. He's just had a lovely conga reel. So there we go, a little bit of extra content for you. Matt Lovely. kissing a conga eel. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That'd teach you, wouldn't it? Happy days. Oop. Sweet. <laughs> right, Lovely. We're gonna get out of here. Good. Let's get him back. Right then. Oh, you're right. All right. Let's put him here and watch him go down. Look at that. <laughs> Look at him, the boy. The boy! <laughs> that was hilarious. That was hilarious. Do you see that? <laughs> Happy days. Right then, everybody. I think we've seen enough for tonight. We've had some great fish. We've had two fish, a lovely undulate ray, and a lovely conga. Dan had a conga, two undulates. No, one undulate, two congas, and uh, two dogfish. Love it, wish I was close to the coast to go out and fish, but it's a mission for me. Ah, it's got to be worth it to relax at least sometimes, eh, mate? Happy days, Jamie. Thank you so much. Guys, we are going to end the live stream here. We'll say thank you so much to the super chatters of the night. I really do appreciate it. As like I said, goes towards the channel, the bait, everything like that. Whoa, burpee burpee. So yeah, really do appreciate it. Captain Jim, Kojak, Albert times two, Steve Sherry, thank you so much. And then Richard Jarvis with two amazing super chats on PayPal. I really, really do appreciate it, guys and girls. 167 likes as well. Amazing. I do believe that Local Marks is live, guys, so do go over and say hello from me. I'll probably pop in later on. Yeah, do go over to Local Marks Fishing, say hello. And uh, yeah, say I sent you. Happy days, that sort of thing. It always uh, helps sending your viewers to another channel. So yeah, do go check out Local Marks. He's the boy. We like him around here. And uh, yeah, I'll get myself home and hopefully the meal down will be live tomorrow. Do appreciate the support, everybody. And I'll see you in the next live stream. So yeah, Richard Domit, thanks so much for coming in. Richard Jarvis, Jamie Murray, Nick the Fish, Kojak Sharks, we have Sweet Corn Kid, guys and girls. Thank you so much for the support. Really do appreciate it. I'm not sure if we're lagging behind a little bit. I'll wait a little bit just so you can say goodbye. But uh, yeah, we will be off hopefully fishing tomorrow the wind stays off that is we're gonna find somewhere out the wind richard thanks so much and join ufc really do appreciate it i'll uh, send you a message later richard and um have a quick chat maybe do a facebook something like that i don't know feeling edgy who knows probably not i'll uh go home and the missus will be upset with me but yeah thanks so much everybody i'll see you in the next one do you guys say hello to the local marks do appreciate it and uh yeah Ooh. see you later everybody